Hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue, and I'm bringing you guys this game in the Dota 2 Google Plus Community Cup. This is a game being commentated and bought to you by me, myself, Cool Blue, and also Tycho and Ninja Bite. Hey, you said it. Wait, waiting for the confirmation. Okay, cool, good. Ninja Bite. Yes. I, I still want to call you Ninja B. I'm sorry. Uh, and we're we've been casting this series so far, and this is the third game in the series. If you guys haven't checked out the other games, go check them out. It's a best of three, so spoiler alert: one team won one, the other team won the other. But go check what? them out, though. I know, right? It's insane. <laughs> That's the sound of your mind blowing. <laughs> okay, so uh, Ninja Bite, you were talking before about your series because you had previous experience playing against uh, Witch Doctors Without Borders. So you basically said that your very first game was like. You know, they won. Second game, you guys kind of had the control and you end up winning. But the last game was just like a rollover, face roll, uh, in favor of WDWB. Yeah. Of course, that's possible. I mean, my team lost their hearts, but we weren't very good, and so that's probably just because we uh, we choked in the last game. Probably. I mean, I played Tinker and I completely fed, and yeah, it was terrible. It happens. It's probably yeah. So I don't know. But what I, what I was saying was, is like, in the second game, if they win the first game, mm -hmm. it seems like what they do in the second game is they just pick a kind of a, I don't want to say a weird draft, but like maybe a harder draft to do. Oh, pra like, 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 you know, practice their toner presence, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And also, kind of, I mean, I don't want to call it disrespect, but it's kind of like we can pick what we, what we what's hard to do and still beat you with it. So maybe like kind of a mind games type thing, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it kind of is. But I mean, all I gotta say is that Kunkel was doing work. I'm just gonna put it in that Kunkel was putting in work. I'm just gonna throw it out it's there. True. Yeah. So the, the problem was he didn't get enough farm. I no, think. the problem was he was a Kunkel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that, honestly, yeah. And I mean, I mean, if he had one more item, I think they could have held base better, because you just kill the creep wave over and over, and sniper just flinks whoever goes on him. Yeah, Finally, much. Tidehunter gets through, um, though with Dynasty getting it, mm -hmm. and so they, they were banning it, they were banning it. Yes, they were banning uh, the crap out of uh, the Tidehunter, and Lion also gets through too. Uh, that was one of the supports that we mentioned way earlier, I think I think Ninja Bite mentioned them. Yeah, and Lion's probably. one of those uh, well-played support, or frequently played supports, that's really good at zoning people out. Uh, Dynasty really likes their blink AoEs. <laughs> Art. Yeah. It's kind of funny because I think Lion's been pretty much ignored this whole series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and hasn't he has, even he has been potential. banned. He has so much potential because, like, think about him versus Sniper. It's true. Reserve. Yeah, right. Blink Hex. Uh, or and Or oh, oh my God, he, Does he do really good versus Juggernaut? Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. yeah. Versus Spin, yeah. Hmm. And Juggernaut's going to have low HP and probably have his Mask of Madness activated too. Yeah, speaking of actually, wow, uh, WDW, WDWB banned off the Juggernaut, they were, had no intentions of picking him up. Um, I thought he did really well for him. I think if they went for him again, they'd probably do the same exact thing and do well. But I think Dynasty will probably make the proper adjustments. So the, I like the Tide Hunter pick up, I like the Lion pick up like you guys as well. Um, but do you guys have any any feelings, any, like, you know, premonitions, visions, I think based on the Venge, bands that we see? I think Venge is overpicked. Like... <laughs> Overrated a teensy bit. Like, you need to have. All right, so may okay. They're trying to work it into a draft, like this negative armor draft. Mm -hmm. Except these two are relatively weak. Like, if they pick something like a witch doctor mm -hmm. or a shadow demon to go along with this lion, like something mm -hmm. with some punch, they're they're just gonna completely out roam. If they decide to roam, they can go wherever they want. In Veg and Dazzle, yeah. They need a, bunch of levels and are really bursty so they're like mm -hmm. yeah, I, can, I don't think they can aggro necessarily not versus venge and dazzle that's a little bit too much but right too too much sustain also too yeah. much damage overall uh, no, yeah. no, so, somebody like a luna do you think somebody like a luna would actually fit well while in a lineup because i mean vengeful spirit dazzle luna actually, wait we saw that exact same thing uh, that's too short range they'll just get ravaged honestly yeah because dazzle's got a hook Hug close, Venge's gotta be close to the enemies, Luna's really short range. Mm -hmm. She's yeah, basically they need... melee. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean... But I, if I had for this phase one right now, I'd mm -hmm. have to give the edge to Dynasty in terms of the draft. 
Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the flexibility is there. I see the flexibility in their lineup. But, but uh, Ninja Bite, do you see... Do you see anything, like, maybe tricky that we're not seeing? I mean, uh, Taiko mentioned the Wish Doctor. I think that would be great. But it would be really execution-based-like. Yeah. But do you see anything else that could possibly come out of WDWB? Uh, out of WDWB, they... Hmm. I don't know. I mean, obviously, they need some sort of, like, physical DPS-type thing to happen. It's very early to tell. But, I mean... Yeah. If, with this lineup, the most potent thing I can imagine is probably, like, a Lycan draft. Yeah, oh, that's man. true. A Lycan draft would completely... I don't think Dynasty would be prepared. Not, they're not prepared for that with those heroes. That's true. Like, Lion's yeah. pretty good against him, but... Well, Lion not Hunter's great. Not, I mean, yeah. like, the move speed goes through the hex. It's not... It's not yeah, exactly. But, I mean, you can burst them down. That's true. It's kind of... But if, there was, uh, if there was still an axe in the pool, in the pool, I would say Dynasty could pick, you know, axe because axe does pretty well against Lycan. True. Now, question, question. This is this is gonna seem off the wall, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have, to have you guys go with me for a little bit. Ooh. Phantom Lancer. Do you think a Phantom Lancer will fit well? I love uh, Phantom Lancer. In the in the lineup, specifically in the lineup of Dynasty. Um, yeah. If Dynasty gets a Witch Doctor. No, 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 no. Phantom Lancer. Uh, I mean, if they get a Phantom Lancer, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. Um, I think it's a pretty good hero, this meta, this patch. It's just, uh, mm -hmm. everyone's caught, like, if Juggernaut Troll weren't so OP, if the heroes that are all banned on Witch Doctor's side weren't, mm -hmm. like, as strong as they are, Phantom Lancer would be up there. Yeah, definitely, because yeah. Cause basically, if Phantom Lancer sees you, you die. Yeah. He has really fixable issues. Like, there's a bunch of heroes that are, like, this close away from being really good. But yeah. Phantom Lancer's issues are really fixable, and, and like his passive is kind of, it's not broken or bugged, but it's really awkward to use. And if it becomes simpler, because it's a new mechanic, right? We haven't really seen anything like that in other heroes. Oh, yeah, the, uh, um, the, the rush, the dash, the yeah, rush. the rush. Yeah. So if that gets reworked a little bit, so it's easier or toggleable or something, yeah, it's going to be be a top pick. See, see, yeah. tog toggleable. I think I think I would agree. If if it was toggleable, it would be really good. But at this current point, where you know you're just trying to you're just try like you're trying to taunt the yeah. tower or get some aggro, it's... you rush towards the tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it makes sense. All right, uh, mm -hmm. Lena, Lena. If that's a Lena Second mid, um, uh, I think Dynasty just straight out wins. Nope. Ember Spirit. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, really? It might be Ember Spirit mid. That's a Lena support. In which case, uh, it's still. Lena is just a really good hero. I mean, so yeah, that's an Ember mid to counter the Zeus mid because yeah, yeah, because they already picked their supports. Or it could be a Zeus offlane, but Lion's just gonna shit all over the Zeus. That's yeah, true. Uh, quick, no, quick, question. Quick, quick question. Quick question based on the uh, bands because I mean there is an Ember Spirit in there, and we also see a band on Temple Assassin. Uh, Temple Assassin does have a lot of pure damage, and the side blades are really annoying. I think those count as physical anyway. So. Ember Spirit being mid or Lena being mid, they probably both would have got wrecked by Phantom Assassin. Reserve Lena Lina Rex Templar. Lena uh, Rex in Templar? The levels, in the first few levels when she has low amounts of refraction levels. Oh, okay, I got you. And, I got you. Like, uh. Timber Saw! Uh, sweet. Oh man, Timber Saw. Yes. Wow. What do you mean, yes? No! God, I hate Timber Saw. I, I love Timber Saw, dude. He's my most played hero, he's my favorite hero. Okay, okay, so so please give us insight as to what makes Timbersaw in this lineup and also just in general really, really They powerful. needed it. The, the, the Venge and the Dazzle are now kind of like balanced out by the pure aggression and damage coming out from the Zeus and Timbersaw. Absolutely. Like, and those are not BKB heroes on the other team. Like, yeah. Lena can get a BKB if she's core, but I don't think she's core this game. Ember Spirit does not want to ever get a BKB. Uh, and Flame Guard is pretty good this game. Uh, if it's the Zeus mid, he's gonna get pooped on by the Ember. Mm -hmm. But in the mid late game, I don't think it's enough to stop all their damage. Well, yeah, and that's if they that's get the Lycan right now, Witch Doctor has the better draft. But if they don't get the Lycan, if they get something weird that isn't, there Lycan. might be a few other games that can. Well, yeah, but if it's not a Lycan, I don't. Well, be, uh, it, it makes a lot of sense because basically there's nobody to take advantage of the negative armor. Like, like the Vengeful Spirit Dazzle, that's the negative yeah, armor. Maybe true. if they get a Slaughter, but Slaughter, in my general experience, has been like a, yeah, he's Slither and Crush, and then lose games. Yeah. If he gets a Blink first, he's going to Blink and get Ravaged, or Blink and get Yule Sceptered, or Blink and get Chained, or Blink and get Hexed. Oh, yeah, okay, good point. Just, like, BKB, and then he's not going to have the damage, he's going to fall behind every other hero. 
Oh, Weaver. How about Weaver? We haven't seen him forever. Ooh. Weaver's just gonna get Lena finger. Yeah, he's just gonna get. <laughs> it's a Lena. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna... <laughs> I mean, look, look at the burst though. They have like the two Good high point. damage rolls. Like when when you when you say burst, who do you think of? You think of like Lion and Lena, right? Yes, That's yes, yeah. Half. Honestly, their five man's disgusting. If if okay, so like if they try to, I don't. How is Witch Doctor's gonna? Take a tower. They can't take a tower when Dynasty's alive or Spectre. have their spells. Specter, pick the specter because they're gonna. Oh, it's gonna be a blink ravage, right? Think mm -hmm. of the minion, blink ravage, uh -huh. and then it's gonna be a lion finger on someone, a Lena finger on someone. Ember Spirit's gonna jump in and do stuff, and it's just gonna be like, what is Dazzle and Venge gonna do? Shallow Grave, one person, right? Maybe you get a weave off, but that's all magical damage. Timber Saw maybe can start doing stuff, but unless he gets ravaged too. Mm -hmm. Uh, like, and they don't have very good tower push right now. Correct, correct. And one thing that makes it really scary, too, is, like, the things that are, are available for tower push... I mean, I'm thinking Anti-Mage. I think Anti-Mage would be nice on the side of Witch Doctors Without Borders. But at the same uh, time, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you're committing Anti-Mage to split push, that means that the rest of your team has to be able to survive. Mm -hmm. And then it's a Legion Commander versus Anti-Mage. Oh, dear God. So it's a Legion safe lane, I hope. I hope. Because I love Legion safe lane. I think it's so much better than Legion off lane. I actually Absolutely. hate Cloud9 for that fucking Legion off lane. Mm -hmm. Spectre! I called it! Wow, Spectre. I called it! I called it, boys! Cool Blue's a professional. <laughs> cool Blue for president. Cool Blue for president. But no, but it made sense because, like you guys keep saying, there's a lot of burst damage. And the only person. Only mm -hmm. can... If they aggro with Legion, they actually just win. Really? I... It's true. Because, oh, because... Legion, mm -hmm. they don't have a heart. They have one heart stun, and they can be purged off by Legion. And Legion's stats are actually insane. Her movement rate is insane. You give her a Quelling Blade and a Tango, she can chase Spectre into the trees if she tries to Spectral Dagger away. <laughs> like, I'm just, like, I'm, I've seen it. Like, it's insane. It's like, you're gonna go into the trees and you, she becomes a Lumberjack and just starts chopping about. Well, I mean, she used to be a man in her past life, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, okay, all right, so we got, we got, say... they're safe huh? it. I'm not, I'm not saying nothing, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no, nothing, no qualms against I was like, are you trying to say that only, only men can be lumberjacks? Nope, I am not dude. saying that. It, nope. it would be lumber jills, dude. Lumber jills. true. Lumber, lumber jill. jill. Oh my gosh. That's actually mind-blowing. Sorry, hold on, let's, let's focus on the game real fast. Introductions. <laughs> Before Cool Blue gets too distracted. Uh, -huh. uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do introductions on WDWB, and I'll let whoever wants to jump on the D inside, go ahead and do that. Uh, but, I'm gonna start with Spectre, cause she looks really cool. Look at that, it's beautiful. Uh, on the Spectre we have Clop Clop playing that Spectre. Moving on to the Zeus, we have ourselves the one and only Rocky playing Zeus. It's it's a Southeast server. Wow, <laughs> Australian. All right, and moving on to this Timbersaw, we see ourselves Ximilv. X How you pronounce that? Ximilv. Ximilv. Yeah, let's go with that. Moving over to the Dazzle, we see ourselves JK playing him. And last but not least, on this Vengeful Spirit, we see ourselves Method Man playing VS. And uh, anybody wanna care to take D inside? Uh, I got. Alright. Uh, yeah. I'll do it. Whatever. <laughs> um, so we have Stinger playing Tide Hunter. Forgotten Soul on the Ember Mid. Uh, 310 Alxo on the Lion. Zerg on the Safe Lane Legion. And RF on the Support Lena. So. Hmm. Okay. Looks like Lions could be roaming around a little bit. That's probably Roman. what he wants to do. Yeah, Roman supports. Lena already has a smoke, so yeah, Roman supports definitely. They're, they're, they're gonna try to go for killing mid. Uh, about what level do you think they're gonna wait for? No, they're killing top right now. Zemo's dead if he doesn't step back. Oh my god. Oh, does, that pause. Do they does, see him? I can't wait. I need to see if they have they vision. Just, they can see him. He's pinging it. Purple's pinging it? Yeah, they see him. Just wanted to say that Timbersaw set is amazing. Carry on. Really? Is that what they pause for? No, there's lag. Oh, okay. Okay, he sees them. Timber needs to walk straight back. Oh, oh the, the stun! And Lena wasn't expecting the stun to yeah. not go through. So. But, uh, laning wise, Dire, like, Timber's gonna get stunned out pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Spy it. Uh, Which makes me sad. Double What's... range creeps for Dire, though, so. Yeah, double um, range creeps push. And for anybody who doesn't know, range creeps hit the hardest out of all the creeps. That's good. Well, yeah, it's double melee creep because they have pierce damage. It, they, it looks like uh, 23 to 21 looks the same, but it's pierce damage, so this double. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? They have pierce damage? Yeah, but it only affects creeps. I don't know. The damage types in Dota 2 are weird. 
They are. I I thought they're, they're, I thought they're, they're, not, they're not explained well. That's the thing. So no one I really. I thought they rework damage types. So it's like you it's know. just physical. Well, not those. There's different. There's Pierce. Oh, there's. Uh, oh, I get, I get what you mean. Yeah, like yeah. armor types and Pierce. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah. Uh, like in Warcraft Three. Yeah. So 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 basically, like Vinrich is playing war. So so hold on. Range creeps don't hit towers. Hold on. Before we talk about that, Titan is down bottom. He's about to die. Uh, he is has a spectral dagger chasing him, and I think his death is yeah. going to be here soon. No, nope. oh, he survives. Basically, both offlaners are going to have a horrible, horrible, horrible time where they should. Um, this is why you don't see these heroes anymore as offlaners. It's because they just have bad times against supports right now. Mm -hmm. and against like, everyone. Yeah, and against the carries too. Like troll warlords, really good at bullying. Uh, Sniper is really good at bullying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it sort of frees up your support so they can go do other things. Yes, yes, it does indeed. Uh, one one thing I was mentioning real fast, or one thing I was mentioning before. Uh, darn it, I lost my train of thought. It was something about something about something. It seemed relevant, but Cool Blue forgot. It must be a long day of casting. Um, <laughs> moving on to things that are rel actually relevant. We like two games, dude. <laughs> I know, but they they've Austin. been like we, we they've casted been long games. games. We've casted a full series. That's true. This is, this is not easy work, guys. This is not easy being awesome like us. Mm. <laughs> Alright. So, mid matchup, I think I want to talk about that. Zeus versus Ember Spirit. Are uh, you guys are saying that Ember Spirit is going to basically have a good time, or he's going yeah. to counter Zeus in a sense? Yeah, he uh, should. Yeah, if he plays it right. I mean, unless he's like not good at Ember, in which case. He's got his pick. Uh... Yeah, he, so he's like got it right now. Uh... Oh, lost it. You? He he didn't even shackle once. You you, he should have used shackle. He's a full bottle. Just mm -hmm. shackle. You get the uh, the ton of damage. Honestly. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, like searing change is like a three hundred nuke and a three second stun at level yeah. four. Is it, the is thing this... is, you still need flame guard up more. Um, yeah. the classical build is a two one two. You want two points in flame guard because level one flame guard is actually terrible. But he yeah, might yeah. just skip it and go for more flame guard because right now it's not gonna last long versus Zeus. No, because Zeus um, has burst damage. Because Zeus can run away and just uh, W the ground, and that's like all of it, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Good point, good point. Meanwhile, up top, Timbersaw is actually a little bit trouble. Lion's on the backside, just zone him out a little bit. The body block's trying to come through, but Timbersaw a little bit too far away. Lena not in position to drop the stun, though. So yeah, for real. Follow -up. No follow-up. And that's she's... Uh, sorry, you can go. go yeah, she needs to be spamming her uh, Dragon Slave more on him, honestly. Yeah, it's true. So that's what I that's actually kinda of what I was gonna say. One of the great things about Tibersaw, right, is that he has the reactive armor, so every time you hit him he gets regen and armor. Yeah. So essentially every time you hit him, your yeah. next hits will do less. You have to that's why I, Yeah, like, you have to have magic damage if you want to. And Lena's really good at just spamming Dragon Slave. Like yeah, it, it's true. It looks expensive, but it's really, really not for its damage. It's really cost efficient. Especially versus a hero like Timbersaw. Yeah, he was gone. For, he's gone for two points in reactive armor, which is not uh, not unheard of. As a, he's like, actually getting so much. Tidehunter is still level one compared yeah. to Timbersaw. Timbersaw's level four. Jeez. He, okay. Dazzle's doing a fantastic job. So now all I gotta say is Dazzle's right click yeah. looks like it hurts a lot. And uh, Poison Touch. Poison Touch is free phys physical damage, by the way. So I mean, I'm okay with that. Wait, so is his uh, shadow he needs to give up. He needs to go jungle. It's true. Or stack ancients. You need to go stack ancients and get level two, and then go just go jungle. Speaking of stacking ancients, ancients are actually stacked up quite a bit. Uh, oh, two stacks up there. Not, I guess he hasn't gotten any rune, right? Actually, no. At three all. stacks. Three stacks of the uh, ancients so far. So Titan Hunter is, is keeping up on that at the very least. Well, yeah, but he can't really he can't really make use of that unless he has you know <laughs> more levels. I don't know why he got Kraken Shell level one. To be honest, it's he needed an anger smash. Because here's the thing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's say you get zoned out, right? Okay, you get zoned out. This happens. Supports are good like that. Um, you have to wait for two things. The rune, or for them to fuck up the lane. If mm -hmm. they don't, then as soon as the rune is up, you either get the rune, or if you have a ward <laughs> up, which you do, and you see them getting the rune, that's when you pressure the lane, even if it's 2v1. So if the Venge gets the rune, and it's just a Dazzle and the Spectre, you run at them and you start anchor smashing, you start aggroing the wave, you pull it back as far as you can, you do whatever you can before the oh. Venge gets Exactly. Good point. Nice, nice. Okay, so see, see, I would've never thought about that. But yeah, so Tide, all he can do is just run at the creeps, look at him, say, look at my shell, and then walk away. Yeah, yeah, but now he has Kraken shell, and he's still level 1, it's 6 minutes. Like, this is so shitty for him. Oh, man. <clears throat> I guess you could say, it stings. 
Yeah, and it's, the yeah. thing is, to be yeah. the complete because opposite. Stinger. Okay, sorry. To <laughs> <laughs> be the complete opposite right hey. now. Three. Um, mm -hmm. they really couldn't kill him. They'd need so much to kill him, actually, because Dazzle spells aren't the best at locking down a Tidehunter. They only have the one stun, and they have Spectral Dagger, which you know oh, isn't that lion. impressive. Of Lines dashing on down bottom, he's gonna wreck some stuff or block a stack or I don't know what he's doing right yeah, now. They, they're gonna go for it. This is they're bailing out Tide Hunter here. Oh my god. Tide Hunter is level gonna be like level four or something off this. <laughs> is it level four? Wait, Dazzle might survive! Oh my oh. god, did you Wow Oh my lord. That was actually really cool. <laughs> because what 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 the Zeus did uh -huh. was he ulted so that the flame guard would be off and not kill the Venge. Oh nice. I didn't think about that. I'm not sure how much of that is intentional, but that is no. Good... It was completely intentional. Trust me. Hmm. Because Zeus level one ult uh, doesn't matter. Expect to just kill. All right. Actually, wait. Hold on. I, no, no. The, the kill goes the other way. So dazzle, not dazzle. Expect to kill on top of line, and now we got Ember Spirit going toe to toe with Ember Spirit. Ember Spirit does die, and it does make a lot of sense because basically He's all of he all of Ember's fight. DPS, all of Ember's DPS is off his flame guard. So yeah. That's a dead specter. That's actually huge. Nope. Tidehunter instead of follow XP instead of getting last hits. For him, experience right now is more important than his gold. Because he has 600 gold, he's fine on that. So, I don't know anything about Ember Spirit because I don't play him, but like, mm -hmm. is this Orb of Venom? I'm, the, do you go like right for the Scotty after the Orb of Venom, or do you go into Ooh. your first Battle Fury? I don't. He, he always. You want to go drums. Uh, phase boots, drums. He should buy the phase boots right now. Yeah. Uh, it's a huge pickup for him. He'll he'll be able to bully the uh, Zeus out of lane. Out, like out, of, out of my experience, Ember Spirit really sucks as far as mana goes, and his Flame Guard, although it doesn't seem that expensive, is very expensive for him. Because his ulti is very expensive too. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. Stats stats are good, and Drums of Endurance is beautiful. Tidehunter just could have killed the Spectre, but he walked back. Once he saw the stun go onto the, the Ember, he should have walked up an Anchor Smash. Oh. Let's max out certain chains. That's gonna be a lot of damage coming to whoever wants to get it. He, oh, sh mm -hmm. he should have gotten at least one point. I think he, after maxing Flame Guard, he should have got one point in Slide of Fist. Because you can use it to dodge Venge Stun, and that's the only hard disable they have. So that's once you dodge that, you pretty much have free reign to go run into anyone you want. Tower Speaking of running yeah. anyone you want, we got a lot of people down here in bottom from both sides. Look at the fight's gonna break out. Nice little stun on top of Lina. Lina does have a follow up stun in a few seconds. Looks like Ember Spirit gonna take some magic damage. Better. And loses his whole entire flame guard, so he's gonna be forced to back away. Lena is actually gonna be the sacrificial land. They're all gonna go for. Her. She has nowhere to go. She can kill it's a tree or two. Nope. Yeah. This doesn't matter. Yeah, Zeus result. You can't run from heaven. That's what he says. Oh, no, you can't. No, you can't. Um. Anyway, as I was going to say before that stuff happened. Mm -hmm. Um. So top lane's been pretty much left alone. Yeah. Uh. The Legion's losing top lane actually. And Timbersaw has just gone to town. And she's rushing the dagger, which I don't agree with at all. As a safe laner, Legion cannot. Like she's rushing. she's dead here. Dead. Yep. Congrats. Oh man, yeah. oh, I forgot about Timber Song. That, that freaking uh, whirling death. Anyway, Spec is down bottom. She's actually a little bit trouble. Tyrant has not enough mana for Gush. Unfortunately, he can pop his magic wand. He, yeah, he'll have enough mana if he pops his magic wand. There it is. Gush. Oh, he misses okay. anyway. He cancels it so he doesn't miss. Okay. He cancels it so he doesn't miss. And he misses anyway. He hits a creep. All a uh, kappa. That's all I can say. He got that last hit though. <laughs> <laughs> he got that last hit though. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh man, PJ Salt. Uh, <laughs> oh, I want to ask him, but did you get the last hit? <laughs> did you? Did you get the last hit? No. no. But um. It's, okay, it's, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. What was that? Uh oh. Alright, okay. so fine. But you yeah. can use another remnant. And now RNG? No, the creep wave saved his life. No, it didn't. Oh, no, maybe it didn't. Oh, maybe it might have. No, yeah, it didn't. And oh, Spectre ults. Oh, Ember Spirit, bro, I think you're dead. Uh, Timber. Oh, Timber. Just not mean to resist salt. Regen, pop the regen, you fool! Okay, he's. Just, okay, they're all dead. I lied. Ember <laughs> side, battle charges. Where did where did where did Juice all come from? Oh, he from mid. I clicked on him as soon as the fight started out. He didn't have mana. He had to pop a region for it. If he oh, had the mana, Ember would have been dead earlier. Ember would have okay. Yeah. 
But yeah, that, that was a that was a series a series of awkward fights because Legion Commander, yeah. the Blink Dagger, she was able she was able to get there fast enough, sure, but she had a whole entire team up there, and suddenly there was like three people from the deck. Dead, I think. Not enough damage now. Max Flame Guard. Oh, come on, man! You have found Regen. Use your spells. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I know. I'm just looking at this Timber and like, dude, what are you doing? He's he's playing good. But... Yeah, he's won his lane. He won his lane. Yeah, yeah absolutely. He's the, he's he's. But like, here's the thing, like. Okay, this Legion, instead of getting a smoke and immediately getting dual damage with the new Blink Dagger, she's farming with a Blink Dagger. Yeah, because um, you know, Blink, Blink Dagger, it's, it's a bleed, so it gives you more damage, she right? One, she should have got treads. You need treads before the item. She's kind of like Faceless Void, in that you need treads before you can use your ulti effectively, right? Mm -hmm. In the early game. The very early game, the early laning phase. Uh, and then after that, as a safe lane Legion, you want... Uh, you know, a so, uh, farming item. Some people like Midas. I like Ma Maelstrom personally because it's not that expensive, mm. and you can just go jungle. You don't life steal to jungle with her because of her passive. No, no, Tycho. Quick question: Do you think Legion Prayer is gonna win this fight if she jumps into it? Um, well, with Lena, sure. Not quite. No. <sighs> if that had gone off, she would have died. And honestly, she didn't need Blink to go on it. If Lee, if like Lena just mm -hmm. gets a stun off, you can just. Cause her movement speed's ridiculous. Like people forget about that. Um, if she cues someone, the movement speed she gets is insane. It's a percentage, right? Mm -hmm. So with upgraded boots and just uh, max overwhelming odds, she's getting like uh, 400, like 420-ish, depending on how many things you hit. But at least like 400 attack speed or movement speed. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, tangent, my bad. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I have not been paying attention to patch notes. But when the heck did power treads, power treads become the same movement speed as brown boots? Was that, was that, was that like a recent thing, or was that something that's always been like that? I think that's been for a while. It, it, it was changed, but it was a while ago, I think. I can't remember. <laughs> So power I'm surprised, give you I'm surprised that they're faster. If they were faster, they'd probably just be OP. Well, no, no, because like, I could have sworn I could have sworn power charge were like 55 move speed as opposed to 50. I mean, it's a factor of five, but still. It's true. I swear. I'm pretty sure they used to be 55 as well. I don't remember when they were changed. That's weird. Man, when you play Dota for a long time, all the patches just <laughs> blend together. Yes, they do. It was Wait, like was it yesterday. was it that way in 6.79? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. If it, 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 it was just like yesterday, they nerfed Venomance's play boards, and that was TI3. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. like two years ago. Oh, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're about to be on TI, what, TI6? Should get a stick. I hope Legion's picking up a stick right now. Yeah, thank god. It's weird, because you you remember stuff like that. Like, it was, they just barely nerfed Venomance's play boards, but then you look at the pad and it's like, well, it's always been high ground. It looks, <laughs> it looks weird yeah. without the high ground. <laughs> Right, right. It, uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't really know. But Zeus, Zeus was forced to drop the ulti to go against Timber or go against Ember Spirit. I was to say Timber Spirit. Um, but yeah, it makes a lot of Ember sense Spirit, because Ember uh, Spirit, Ember thing. He's going right into the. I don't know if that's a casual ring of health. Actually, if it is casual, it's super smart. Timber Spirit, hold on. Timber Spirit, He will be going down. The dual victory does go the way of nobody because Legion Commander is not able to finish the job. She can't cut the deal. She can't close the deal. But Lion ulti and Lena ulti were both used to help Legion actually get the kill, and it was after the duel. So Timbersaw survived. Timbersaw survived for what? A whole entire. She does have. Some, she has ten dual damage. I, I, I'm guessing that's from earlier. Yeah, that's from earlier. Yeah, it is. From the the fight that was like right somewhere. Somewhere around right this, here. this region. Yeah. Yeah. But but even still, like like Timbersaw survived for four seconds in a duel situation versus Lena ult and Lion ult. I mean. Well, yeah, she dueled him when he had like four or five stacks of reactive armor. Speaking of reactive armor, we got Lena and uh, Lena and Lion having a little bit of fun with Vinspirit. Sadly, Lion's mandatory until level one, so it doesn't really matter. But Vinspirit will be going out. Vinspirit, our crew will be getting kill. Vinspirit, sadly, not gonna be able to get it. But the fight's gonna happen on my backside. Is Tidehunter to level six? No, he, Rabbit, yes, he is. No, no Ravage. He's misskilled at level six, dude. Ah, oh, no Ravage. I think I might have been miss. That could have been a misclick. He, He's he got it now. But... He might have accidentally clicked Kraken shell. Well, yeah. They got the kills. They got the kills. All right. Let's just... Let's just say it was on cooldown for unknown reasons. <laughs> cooldown. <laughs> People were like, why didn't you ravage? She's like, cooldown. <laughs> I swear. No, I've, I've done it before. I've, I've been in a game where like, someone's like, oh my god, it's cool blue, why didn't you drop your stun? It's like, it was on cooldown. And I, I had mana for it, I was full HP, it was not on cooldown. <laughs> they need to smoke. I hope they're smoking right now. No, they're not. Spectre ults. 
Did uh, Ren? Did what? Why did he TP to bottom tower? Someone misclicked. I don't know. Because he was like right here, he could have walked. <laughs> they should. Oh, look at Tyler to go. Oh, you Tyler, know, you know, it, it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense why he uh, maybe got two points of Kraken Shell. I mean, I don't agree with it, but maybe he was like Dyer's ancient stack. I'll get like a quick level off of that. Boy. So that was his thought, and he happened to walk mid to a team fight. Maybe. Then yeah. you just save the skill point, I think, until you... I don't know. Yeah. Ooh, Zeus, I think you're dead. Oh, nice swap. I love that. Swap. Oh, oh beautiful. Sick. And she stays alive anyway. Zeus drops his ulti. Enough HP to drop his ulti. Ember Spirit gonna try to go for the kill. No follow-ups done. Sadly, Zeus is gonna die. But looks like Ember Spirit might lose his life here in a few seconds. Actually, no, Ember Spirit will be the second one to die. Now, Legion Command is gonna go all in for Blink Dagger is ready. Still, no more dual victories, unfortunately. But looks like she's gonna be able to just walk the other way. Dazzle, just a casual right click line. Gonna be the protector for the Legion. And Legion, oh my gosh, her Blink Dagger keeps getting broken. She's not happy right now. <laughs> oh, she almost died, honestly. Yeah, she's not. Oh, she is gonna die. Ah, oh, Timbersaw. Timbersaw. T Timbersaw. I love Timbersaw. Okay, anyway. <laughs> and Lion nice shenanigans are happening. I don't know what's going on anymore. Looks like Dean are going to be losing two people. Regardless of what Why happens. Why doesn't Lena have a stick? What's happening? Did he oh, he oh you fool, Timber. Oh, the Ravage, though. What a savage. Timber's being silly right now. He's oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> The spike. Stop, you, you fool. <laughs> the spike. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! They're like, oh, oh. <laughs> ah. He's there, right? <laughs> he's like, are you sure he's not here? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure he's not here? I think he's here. No, no, he's over there. <laughs> he's no, like, yeah, crazy. look, see. Oh my god. I'm so glad jungle. I'm not controlling the camera because I'd be losing my mind on it right now. I think I'm I controlling the camera. Oh. Uh, oh, I just dropped everything. <laughs> just, just All the line had to do was just like. He had it. He had made every, Impale was off cooldown and everything. Just Impale. No, 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 no. It was on cooldown. It was on cooldown, didn't you hear? <laughs> For unknown reasons. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> perfect. Uh, alright. The best part is like after Stinger like walks around up in here. Like, <laughs> where is he? He's got he's got to be up here somewhere, right? Oh man, it hurts. Oh, okay, no no offense to anybody, of course, but that was, that was just hilarious. All right, moving back on, moving back on to things that are serious and happening in Dota. Um, Air Spirit, working on his first battle fairy. First battle fairy coming in about twenty five minutes. Um, twenty five minutes. Thanks, thanks about it. Battle for you, Ember Spirit. Uh huh. Uh, no, he's uh he's gonna have it soon. Like yeah, yeah. That's, anytime before twenty five minutes is fine. Anytime um, before twenty, okay. The the average time is like eighteen minutes or whatever. But mm -hmm. actually, he should have it way sooner. He's under farms. He has yes. six kills, one death. He should have had it by now. And speaking of timing, Spectre's building this thing called a Radiance. She wants something pretty and shiny. Uh, it's it done. That's fine timing for it. Yep, it's pretty uh, much yeah, it's done. We've left her alone more or less. Mhm. Mm Yes, they have. And uh, I, I think the longer the game goes on, like, like always, I, I hate, I, guys, this is a flaw of mine. I actually don't like Radiance in general because I think it's too expensive, it doesn't do enough. That said, whenever we're in a game and somebody's building Radiance, like, oh my god, stupid Radiance players. I think it's perfectly fine because they're, they're going to have at least three Blink Heroes on the side of the end. Yeah. Yes, they will. And basically, Pop Spectre ulti, you have no more Blinks. Speaking of having no more Blinks, oh, Vince Spirit, you're dead, bro. Yeah, the Spectre's like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not walking to that. I'm not. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Should've she should have. After Lena used ulti, she should have went in. Yeah. They're gonna go for it. They're gonna go for the Leech Commander. Leech Commander cannot blink away because the poison touch is too strong. Leech is gonna turn around and go for the go for the damage, but not, not gonna be there. Spectre ulti full. Spectre ulti full. She has one ult, she has out of mana. She used her dagger. Yeah, like, mana. She used her dagger like a dum dum. No, she's a smart dumb, Whoa, damn. my bad. My bad guys. Sorry, my bad stream. I, I didn't mean to do that. I, I was trying to click on the thing, but it like scrolled. On accident, so I missed like that last death. Oh, uh, but it's, yeah, it's... state of the game, ninja bites. Oh, Vector is taking over. It's it's. Oh, okay, yeah, Vector. She's got her radiance. What a fight! She's... As soon as she got radiance, like, oof, oof. Yeah. Radiance, she's gonna she's gonna start fighting now, and she's pretty much just gonna start taking the game. I would say. I don't think she's fighting, but her ulti is going to be very liberally used. Well, I'm just going to get an Aquila before the Radiance, at least, just for the mana region. Yeah. Otherwise, it's really hard to sustain that. I mean, like... Or a bottle, even, honestly. Hmm, a bottle, really? So, yeah, but so she can go check Rune and then go back into jungle? It helps her have a bigger impact. Like, okay, she's 
Well, usually with carries, you want some sort of mana regen to farm faster. Yeah. That's not with it with her. With her, you want the mana regen for your ulti. It's just to use it off cooldown. Oh, Timber Cell, hold on, Timber Cell, man. He has a blessed He gets swapped out with Vinspear. Vinspear keeping our ally alive. Actually, oh my gosh, Timber Spear gonna get blasted here in a few seconds. He actually gets healed up by the mechanism. Lion and crew are gonna come through. A lot of damage coming towards Timber Cell, but sadly, Lena you chose the wrong target. Shallow Grave coming through just in case, but Timber Cell, he's gonna go ahead and heal back on up. Meanwhile, team fight's gonna continue on. Vinspear is on the wrong side of the river. Tidehunter's going for the chase. No ravage because who needs it when you're trying to kill just one solo support? But a blink dagger's up on Tidehunter, so he's ready for the fight. He's actually gonna blink to the side. He Oh, he ravages the dazzle. Beautiful, beautiful ravage for that one support. Nah, being sarcastic. <laughs> but he does get the kill. He does have the kill. Inspector unfortunately has no oh. HP on her illusions, so she doesn't Yeah, much. yeah. But Timbersaw. Uh, Timbersaw almost This is fully questionable. Free. This is not questionable. I lied. And he can suicide. Reactive he is armor, suicide. Reactive armor? Reactive armor. It's fine. If Zeus has ult yeah. again. No, oh, Zeus needs. Zeus? Okay, on Zeus, what I like doing is just going straight for the Yules. I don't even get arcane boots. Soul Ring Yules, that's it. Soul Ring Yules, really? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and and technically, that's enough mana. Mm -hmm. And we're starting Maybe to transition to. Good, good. What else? What I was getting ready to say that we're starting to transition to more of a support role like. Zeus, which which I've seen a lot of times too, like basically Zeus is like mid doing things and then he just oh, falls into a support the role. Build, the build on Zeus, the one I like a lot, is pure mobility like map control type shit. So you go you go Yules, then like Blinker Force Staff, um, ideally both, but sometimes you only get one, sometimes you get both, and then uh, travel. And then after that you can go for Ags or Veil or whatever you want utility wise, even Scythe. Oh, good point. All right. Uh, speaking of good points, Timbersaw is unkillable, officially. Uh, it's official. Uh, he can basically juke through the trees and he can just survive everything. He has a Bloodstone finish up, but do you think he should be going in on this? Yeah, it's fine. Yes. He can do whatever he wants. If someone TP's bottom, he's dead. This part is... This part of the game is Timbersaw's stage where he... This is the reason why I play Timbersaw, because this is the part where your abilities are at the point where mm -hmm. they're high enough level that they actually deal significant damage, mm -hmm. yeah, and everyone so else doesn't have health pools to the point where you can't blow them up. Right, and, and yeah. Timbersaw is like level 15 at the 23 minute mark. I don't know what to think about that. I am. Um, you let Timbersaw have a lane and he runs away with it. Yep, yep. <laughs> you have no one to blame but yourself if you're the supports here. Yep. No I mean, they just him left him alone against Legion. Legion had a horrible time, and then... Mm -hmm. And Draft saw had a great one. They fist-picked the Legion. They should have realized that it was going to be LA Strength Hero versus the Timbersaw. Yeah, and like... Guarantee that if they were going to commit to that matchup, that the Timbersaw would be under level versus the Legion. Yeah, Because and, and, the level Timbersaw actually dies very easy to Legion. Yeah, he does. Well, yeah, he, he dies... Level. He but, does um, easy team to fight, team fight, team fight, hold on, team fight's breaking out. Timber, Ty Hunter's gonna drop the beautiful Sheep of Ravage, and he doesn't hit anything at all. <laughs> so they're gonna go and continue to run away, so that's gonna be fight uh, decommencing. Nice disengage, it looks like Timber Spirit gonna come with beautiful saving change, catches both these guys. Timber Saw says, bro, let me go back in, coach! And he's gonna try to go for a kill, not gonna be able to find it. Meanwhile, Zeus is gonna be able to stay alive and continue to run away. The Siege Cube's gonna shoot another right click at him, but it looks, looks like it's not gonna be on time. Speaking of things that are not gonna be on time, Lion gonna be just in time to die. Vinter Spirit taking so many hits from the tower, she can just turn around and hit it, and she might be able to kill it before it kills her. Meanwhile, backside, we got pings on the backside. Timbersaw still alive. He actually gets a kill on Ember Spirit, and Ember Spirit is very sad. Gosh. But, um, uh, right before that fight broke out, mm -hmm. the Lushna and the Legion killed the Spectre. Oh, nice. Yeah, and they got dual damage from it. Nice. So that's going to be dual victory number three? Also, this is a Desolator on Legion Commander. I don't agree with this build. Uh, yeah. Would you, would you prefer Deso or would you prefer Blade Mail? I? No, neither of those. Neither? Uh, neither? Maelstrom. Maelstrom. Oh, yeah, I, Maelstrom. I saw the Mythical Hammer, I thought it was going to be an early BKB, which I'm like, hey, that's fine. Yeah. It's against the Timber Saw, it's against Zeus, fine, sure, I don't care. But mm -hmm. if it's not that, you need to get attack speed on the hero. Absolutely. Okay. Alright, in Ninja Bite, Ninja Bite, quick question. Quick question. Why not Blade Mail? Uh, why not Blade Mail on who? Legion. Oh, Legion? I, you know, it. It's just, what does it offer you outside of the duel? Not much. And it doesn't even last the full duration of the duel, so... It's a very cost-efficient item, but it's... I don't think it's... It doesn't scale well enough, and she's... That's true. Oh, good point. It, I it, mean, like, your primary item. duel targets are gonna be, like, their supports, and what yeah. what is 
Blade Bear, what are you going to do against them? I mean, they take, like, their own right clicks, yeah, which already aren't that strong, so... I mean, as an item for this game, it's okay, because of all the damage that... That's true, yeah. I guess maybe, like, Timber Saw, but I mean, I, it's, it's not the best item. Speaking of burst damage, Spectre found herself a target, Lion is going to go ahead and run away. Sadly, Spectre has no Bastion, so she can't do anything yeah. to just stand there and have Lion watch her burn. But that's all right, guys. It's all right. Because she loves the way it hurts. Mm. <laughs> sorry. I had, to, I had to finish it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My apologies, internet. Uh, but yeah, Tidehunter to Blink Dagger. Um, surprisingly, Tidehunter doesn't seem to be the biggest factor of all on Dean's side. It seems like Lena and Lion set up enough to where yeah. Tidehunter was Ravage just kind of like a just-in-case. He caught up really well. Um, mm -hmm. He got his levels up. He got his Blink up uh, at a good time, despite his really bad laning stage. Mm -hmm. But I mean... Uh, 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 uh. Wait, are they going for something? They're, they're looking for the Spectre. They are. She's trying to form the jungle. Looks like she, she needs... She has a half HP. She's dead. She needs to ulti out and go to someone else. She's gonna ulti. She's gonna go to Lion. And Lion's like, bro, I got my ulti in 40 seconds. I was like, oh, nope. Lion's gonna get engaged on. Actually, nope, nope. Spectre's running. Yeah. Ember Spirit missed. Oh, it doesn't matter. She dies anyway. Sadly, Zeus couldn't tornado Ember fast enough. Meanwhile, down bottom, Legion gets a duel on top of, guess who? That's right, guys, a Dazzle. No Shallow Grave for you, he dies. And now we start the snowball of, oh, never mind, Timbersaw shows up. Here comes Ty or Timbersaw or versus Tidehunter. Legion Command is here as well to help out, but Timbersaw is going to continue with the pure damage and shenanigans. And Tidehunter is a strength-based hero, so that means a Whirling Dazz does basically do 50% of his main HP as, primary HP as damage, because strength is his primary stat. Legion Command are going to continue to run, they're going to go ahead and continue the chase, and they're going to stop. That just happened. <laughs> that just happened. That just, it, was, it, was, it was a bunch of things that seemed really interesting, but it was like, nah, people just died. That's all that happened. Well, that's... That's that's what people see who aren't good at Dota when, when people play Dota. It's like, people died, that's... Yeah, something happened. Right click, right click, right click. Right -click. I'm right click. There you go, we got it. Oh my gosh. Save the blink. <laughs> Alright. So moving on, moving on from all this, Tycho, could you please give us your take on the status right now of the inside? Because we've seen some really good things, we've seen some really bad things, but it doesn't seem to be 100% consistent. So could you give us some analysis at least? They've been way? getting pretty good ganks on the Spectre for mm -hmm. the most part, but the thing is they can't control this Timber Saw at all. Uh, hmm. The okay. Legion so. has a disagreeable item build, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't think it's out of the woods yet. I think Ember's going for a BKB. I hope, and then hopefully that helps them come back in it. And yeah, it's always but a sad situation. It's, it's when you basically, need to go to BKB. yeah, it is. Um, when you don't need to go BKB on Ember, mm -hmm. that it's not the situation you want to be in as an Ember. If Timber stays on their side of the map with the supports right now, mm -hmm. basically I don't see how they lose the game because. It'll just be Spectre and Zeus farming their side of the map using globals whenever they try to fight. So Timber just needs to stay on their side. Yeah. Timber almost has his eggs. Now, question, so question. Exciting. Timber Solid versus Bristleback as a uh, person who wants to be up in the front in your face. Or actually even versus a Centaur War Runner. Now Centaur was banned out, but do you guys think Centaur is a better person for that because he actually does have a stun? Or do you think... Uh, instead of Timber? Yeah, instead of Timber. So Timber versus Centaur. I mean, they provide well, it, different in things, the, but... In the realm of, like, tanking, you yeah. know, I would definitely rate most, like, tanky offlaners like Bristleback and Centaur above Timber. Mm -hmm. But Timber's, like, his tankiness is, like, a side of what he actually his role is, which is, you know, jump on you and kill you with pure damage. That's so... Timber was better, definitely the better option in this game. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. They're, they're pinging smoke broke. Hold on, smoke broke on Timber. They're pinging something. They're they know that there's here. someone in biz here. And there's yeah. Spectre drops the ulti. Lion is officially dead. Zeus ulti. Oh man, Zeus throws the lightning bolt Timber in the wrong direction. Feel like whirling death. Whirling there, death. Oh, there it is. Zeus drops the ulti just to kill the lion. Jeez, they couldn't find that. They couldn't find that lion. Well, there there was a Spectre illusion like following him. Yeah. I <laughs> like it was hard to tell where it was. It's whirling death. I would yeah. just start casting spells if I'm Timber Saw. It's not like you're gonna run out of mana or anything. Yeah. He has yeah. action out, by the way, dear lord. Well, that's double ult. There's okay. ult number one, ult number two, Legion Commander. You can't do anything. That's pure damage coming through you. 
And this actually hits herself up. Nice for average. And she goes for the duel on top of Timber. Timber's taking so much damage, but the shotgun's oh, coming no. through. The damage will be going back. No dual victim oh, for anybody. Great. Legion Commander wow. kills herself. Because that's what she does. Timbersaw's still alive. He can suicide if he needs to, but no, he doesn't need to do that because he's so damn tanky. He's still alive. Lena coming back around the corner, throws out a Dragon Slave. Not enough damage to kill a Timber. Too much HP regen. Collects his own charge and then walks away. This Timbersaw. <laughs> <laughs> this Timbersaw. Oh, I love you, man. I love Timbersaw. <laughs> I don't think he's picked up off often enough. I mean, he does so well in this, like in this meta. Yeah. You know, the, all those squishy like. Carry people, yes. you know, that don't really build BKBs. The issue is the support. Really, it's yeah. true. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that, that's all true and all, but like, I mean, really, what, what, what much is Lena and Lion really gonna do to Timbersaw? Like, they can barely kill Zeus well, with a bolt. They, they messed up their job in the mining phase. Ah, uh, Well, yeah, like if Timber hadn't gotten as good of a start as he did, he would not be doing as well as he is. Yeah, and then they left him alone, like. Not only did they lose the lane for their legion, and the legion like fucked up too, mm -hmm. but then they left, right, without really securing it or doing anything, and they couldn't call the Ember in and say, "Hey, come kill this timber saw," because Ember had to go bail out the tide hunter because the tide hunter was doing even worse. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so they, they tried to go bail out the tide hunter, and they sacrificed their carry for it. Right. Yeah. And, and all, all things being equal, tide hunter is about where we would expect him to be. I mean, maybe he's like he's like maybe he's one perseverance short. They of helped where we catch up. To be. We're not like, but that was the sacrifice they made. They helped him catch up at the cost of you mean saw a lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And no. To be honest, um, I'd put my money on a fed timber saw over like a fed tide hunter. It's true. I, I would agree because because timber timber saw is always always useful. Like even if even if timber saw has no mana, he can still just stand there and take some damage. Tide hunter, you kind of need him to have his ult. Where he's actually yeah. truly useful, or it at least at least have anchor smash. Yeah, That's, that this is the thing that a lot of teams start learning is that it's like it's like a cycle in like our uh, competitive Dota, mm -hmm. where you have these big ultimates coming into play and everyone has like a hard on for them, like Tide Hunter Ravage, Black Hole, yeah. Face Void Chrono. But then people are like, uh, what if we just pick things like Timber Saw or Bristle Back that can fight at any point in time and yeah. not they don't have to wait for cooldowns like mm -hmm. and. That you see a lot of um, games losing that because once it like a tide hunter has his items, but he can only use them during his ultimate. You right. know, Bristlebeck has his items; he gets to use them whenever he wants. He's getting more out of his money. Mm -hmm. And and then on top of that, you have someone like a Timbersaw who just basically buy, buys a Bloodstone and yeah. stays alive. I consider them really really similar. Um, tons of damage by comboing their skills, right? Mm -hmm. And also, he, he's extremely disruptive. Like, like I don't like Timbersaw's disrupt. Like, he just basically says, "Oh, throw this, throw that. Oh, you didn't kill me yet. Let me it's, throw it again and throw it again." Yeah, yeah I mean, like, <laughs> I yes. just love Timbersaw so much. Uh, <laughs> come on, right, hold on, come on, Ninja Bite. Tell us, the tell us. Mail works so well. I don't know. He just fits my playstyle, right? Because what I do, I hate farming, so I don't farm <laughs> on anyone. And Timber, Timber's not a farming hero. Like, if you're farming on Timber, then you're behind, and that's bad. Oh, Legion! Oh my gosh, so they catch the Legion off from- Oh man, Legion just got wrecked so hard. So much pure damage going her way. Now we got Ember Speed, he's in a lot of trouble, trying to run over, but he actually gets stunned up by whatever that was. And uh, he's gonna be taking quite a bit of damage. Lena actually gets- our line actually gets pulled back into the middle of the fight. Ember Spear forces to use all of his mana, or all of his abilities to run away, but Timber Saw says, Bro, I got a haste from, let's do this. Gush and go do squat for me now. And look, the time to might be forced to burn the Ravens to stay alive, but he still might die. It looks like he dies anyway. Ember Spear, uh, looks like he meant to press the bin, uh, button, but he forgot to press it. And he did try to throw out a searing chains, but he did miss it. And Timber is gonna go ahead and walk away. Very happy with his 23 uh 23 bloodstone charges. Yeah. Well. He basically has a bloodstone charge for or one bloodstone charge more than the number of kills that Dian has. Which is uh not very good for Dian. Not very good, not good, not very good for Dian, no. And uh, they know where Ember Spear is going to be, so they're going to go and throw out the Billies outright in those directions. Good play coming up for Timbersaw, and I think, I think, just Spectre's not even a deal yet. Like, she's not even a factor yet. It's just basic yeah, Timbersaw. Well, I mean, she has, like, her Manta, and she's got two... Oh, actually, she has a heart on the Courier, so... Mm -hmm. I mean, when you can kill people on, de on demand, and when you got people like Dazzle just saving the lives of Ember Spirit or supports like that, it's making it so hard to pick off people like Ember Spirit and crew might have been able to get a pick off. And uh, th think of all the times that there were duels where a Shallow Grave came in and saved the life of whoever it was. I mean, truthfully, I'm not sure if I blame 
Legion, mm -hmm. like the player of the Legion. I just think that the the Legion pick was bad. Like was... you, mm -hmm. good. You don't. I mean, you really shouldn't pick Legion against Dazzle, in my yeah. opinion. I mean, the Grave, like. Yeah, they fist picked it. They <laughs> picked it against Dazzle and Timbersaw. And Timbersaw and like. You know, it's just I don't think the Legion yeah. really fit. And like the Legion doesn't fit with their lineup that much either, other than like the the Lion and the Lena. You yeah. know, I think it fits in well, just not against what Witch Doctor had. Or, yeah. or if, if anything, I think I think someone like a Scarlet Mage would have done better. I mean, like like I gotta be honest, the Legion Commander Scarlet Mage build like a combination. I didn't think of it as a thing until I sat down and was like, oh, when Legion Commander duels, Scarlet Mage can drop his ult and then drop a whole bunch of damage. So that's actually a really good yeah. thing to have, but. Yeah, the Dazzle. The Dazzle kills it. The Dazzle really kills it. What's the cool thing? On a, on a completely unrelated note, tangent time, I want to talk about Timbersaw some more. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, one of the awesome things about Timbersaw, GG was called by the way. Uh huh. Uh, one of the awesome, awesome things about Timbersaw was. Oh. is, you know, the, the, the Chalk Room, it deals damage. Mm -hmm. On the way out and the, on the way back, and a lot of people forget about the pass back damage. Yeah. And like it always like, as a timber saw, I kind of mind game my opponents, and I use that right because they forget that oh it deals damage when it's going back to them. So like I'll just run away and leave my chakram, and then it'll follow me and it will kill them, kill them on the way back. It's awesome. And it's oh, I love how getting blink, so you put it on them, and when they run away, you blink in front of yeah. them, and then you call it back. <laughs> oh, you guys are jerks. If you have, like so if you have Ags in Blink, you can do it like twice. It's ridiculous. Yeah, like uh, Timbersaw just has so much potential for like comboing abilities and just. But he is still a very high execution base. Like I can't play Timbersaw because yeah. I can't I can't click that fast. Um, mm. so you I just gotta practice, it. man. I gotta Timbersaw, practice. Timbersaw, like he seems really high execution. Like ah, oh, I have to click on trees. What am I gonna do? But <laughs> like once you've played, you know, like. 40 or 50 games with him, you get used to it, and you've pretty much memorized where all the trees are, so. Okay, good stuff. Alright, so that will be the end of this game. Wish Doctors Without, or Wish Doctors Without Borders. They're going to be the ones going on to, I think, would be the finals? Would it be the finals? I think semifinals. Because there's another. It would be semifinals because it's dumb el elimination, right? Oh, yeah, yeah right, right, right. Well, well, they're pretty much going to be sitting there for a long time. Like, like aren't they? Yeah, probably. All right, so so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next game then, because I think the other team is waiting. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to check out Tyco, Tyco, where can they find you? Uh, YouTube, uh, Hi Tyco, H I T Y C H O. Mm -hmm. And what about you, sir, Ninja Bites? Where and you can find me at Ninja Bite Dota on Twitter and uh, Ninja Bite Videos, you know, user Ninja Bite Videos on YouTube. <laughs> All right, and of course you guys can find me on my YouTube page, it's youtube.com slash coolbluedota, that's C-U-L-B-L-U-D-O-T-A, and also you can find me on Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash coolblue, so go check that out. And uh, also, shout out to our sponsors, Build Dota 2, we used your application during the, during the last game, and it was cool, we got to figure out snipers, DPS with a data list is actually higher than with the Mailstorm, so go check them out, you can do your mm -hmm. own build yeah, stuff and play with all that. And uh, also, Kill Ping, shout out to them, they made the beautiful overlay that we're using right now, look at that, it's cool. Yeah, I looked at it on stream, it's sick. I it like is, it. It's awesome. And then there's just that Caster's Network. Let's not talk about that too much. Those those guys are awesome, but yeah, we don't give them too much credit. I may or may not be the admin of that. Ah, I see. <laughs> All right. So yeah, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, we'll see you guys whenever. All right.